This lovely morning we pulled up our anchor from a beautiful bay to head into a swampland and cover up in mud. Actually the Rio Formosa as we were aiming for is a wetland and natural park with a lot to offer its visitors and it is considered a natural wonder once you entered avoiding the strong currents. But first, to even get there, we had to sail the coast we'd feared for month. A stretch of water where hundreds of sailboats has been destroyed the last years due to orcas attacking the rudders. The best option is to stay close to shore on shallow waters, but they were not far away. We are on our way to the area of Faro, where quite a few of the orca attacks have been. So uh, we took our main down and now we're motoring to get in the the breakwaters as fast as possible because we also had a call on the VHF um, there is two boats behind us and the bird is closest to us of them made a call to the other boat that uh, they uh, had an orca there uh, it left the boat when they gave full throttle so uh, they are at least not very far from here but we are staying really shallow and um, we see no one so um, I think we'll be okay but uh, I mean, you're still a bit nervous. Rio Formosa is a big wetland area consisting of many parts and a diversity of ecosystems in a labyrinth of canals, islands, marshlands and furthest out some white sandy beaches. Almost there! Look at those beaches and the turquoise water. I think it's gonna be awesome. Many parts inside are shallow and there is some strong currents, but you quickly get rewarded. And the area is particularly noted for its bird life, where we hope to find the pink flamingos. We're making at the moment 7.7 .7 knots with the current inside here. So it's really important to time it right. It's really a lot of turbulence in the water. Inside the barrier islands we passed marshes, sandbanks and farmlands before we approached the town Olhau. And quite surprisingly to us we could find a marina close to the salt pans where we could even stock up on some food. It's a big national park and uh, it's supposed to be flamingos someplace here but uh, the harbour master said they are not here but we googled a little bit so might be but there is a salt pool area where they maybe maybe could find them so we're gonna go there and I think it's gonna be really pretty anyway so we're taking a walk and it's a super hot day so I'm gonna protect my face from the sun with my hat From a distance we could spot the flamingos thriving and feeding in the water pools together with lots of other birds.
along the water lines were also tons of winking crabs, attracting sea males with their one big claw. There is lots of flamingos in front of us, just not hoping they're flying away because there's other people coming kind of close. Salt pools makes a spectacular, colorful landscape. And just a little further, there was a salt factory where they did not only produce salt, but also made an attraction of this super salty water. It was over 10 times salter than the ocean, and you floated so perfectly at the surface that it was almost impossible to get your legs down under water. The ritual also involved a mud treatment. Although the mud was a bit scratchy on the skin, but we went all in for it anyway. Or at least Gunnar took it very serious. <laughs> But the Formosa area was big, and we also wanted to see some sand dunes, so we went to drop our anchor inside Farol, one of the barrier islands. As soon as we set foot on this small island, it was almost desert-alike, and the sun had heated the sand so much it quickly burnt under our bare feet. to leap we felt super pleased with Rio Formosa so we were looking for another river inlet stay and we aimed for Sancti Petri. So we're going to take the dinghy to the beach, just a little short ride away from here. Ready to go? Yep. Yeah.
Unfortunately, we did not know we could not take Tilbert on the beach, but had to leave him in the water, for some rule we didn't understand. I think it would be more dangerous to all the sunbathers when all small boats anchor in the waterline. I also remember I had an inflatable sun chair until that, so we did the first and final attempt with it. And I tried out my new DJI drone, thanks to all of you who support this production by buying me a coffee or becoming a Patreon. I promise I practice and you will get some cool shots in the upcoming episodes. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to join the journey as it continues.